Hey everybody, this is Yester Outdoors. We are at Bethel Island. This place is loaded of catfish, bluegill, bass, crappie, striper. Hopefully we can pull something out so we can show you how to clean them and also how to cook them. Stay tuned. Hooked up to a little bass. Here we go. Going back. All right, so we got them all laid out. Got got our got our catch uh, for today. And uh, there goes Pops right there. Hey, what we doing? Well, we cleaning this uh, this bluegill. Okay. And uh, we taking off all the skin off all the uh, scales off of them. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut them open and get the other stuff out. But this is the hard job taking the scales off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you you, you heard you heard the process. Uh, he he's already he's already started and. Uh, since I'm holding this camera, uh, I know as soon as I turn this off, he's going to be expecting for me to uh, to join him on, on, on this labor. Uh, and then after that, uh, we'll probably see um, how we put it into grease. So uh, stay tuned, you guys. Yes, sir, outdoors. All right, today's catch, we have um, two species that we caught. Uh, but this one specifically is a red ear. You see the little red dot right there? The little red behind his ear right there. That is why he is called a red ear. Um, also known as a shellcracker. Um, but for this video, um, I'm going to work with this shellcracker here. And I'm going to show you how to clean um, a fish. So here you go. Uh, first, um, this fish has scales, so you want to uh, use uh, a knife. I'm using this knife. It could be serrated knife. It could be a butter knife. Anything that you can, uh, you know, get under the scales. Because what you're going to do is the scales start from the head and go all the way down to the tail in that direction. So from the head to the tail. Um, it goes in that direction, so it goes in that direction. It goes, it goes this way. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the bottom, start from the tail. Okay. So you have the tail here. Look at the lovely tail when it's fanned out. And then I'm going to use uh, this knife. Any uh, any knife would work. Um, besides a um, a plastic or anything, you want to use a metal. Um, some people use forks, um, and those those work also. Um, but I'm going to be using um, this knife uh, to make this work. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to start from the tail, and I'm going to scrape. Okay, I'm going to scrape, and I'm going to keep scraping. I'm going to keep scraping. I'm going to keep scraping. And as you see, look right here. Those are scales. Scales are actually coming off of this shell cracker here. And as you can tell, the part that I just scraped, if you look closely, it has changed its look from the um, from the part that has scales and the part that does not have scales. But you want to start from the tail and scrape. And what I do is I make sure that I get all, all of it. So I start from the tail and I work my way up and then work my way down. Okay. Work my way up. All the way down, all the way, all the way up to the gill. Okay. You want to scrape all the way up, go all the way down. Get under his fin, okay, and under his fin, okay. All the way up, 
blender, scrape, 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 okay? This is no cutting. You're just literally pushing down and scraping, okay? You don't have to, you don't have to slice or anything, okay? All you're doing is getting the knife, applying a little bit of pressure, and scraping, okay? You're not going to do the cutting, okay? You don't have to cut in this. Uh, when, you're, when you're scaling, this is what we're doing right now, is we're scaling the fish, okay? Also, what I would like to do after I get one side done is I'll go through the halves, okay? So again, I'm starting with the tail, okay? And I get the knife, and I'm scraping, okay? Scraping all the way up to the back of his um, dorsal fin, okay? Scraping, 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 okay? And then also, don't forget the top of the head, okay? The top of the head has scales too, okay? Of course, he has his spikes. You see that? But right after that is a scale. So you want to be able to scrape all the way down, down to his head, okay? Tail, head. I do the top, and then I also flip him over, and I work the bottom, okay? Now I'm working the bottom. Scrape, scrape, scrape. All the way to his fin, okay? And just do it a few times. And then you can also uh, use your finger, okay? Use your finger to see if you've got all those scales off, okay? Put your head there. If you feel it nice and smooth, then you've got it, okay? Go in, that, go in the direction in which um, the scales are supposed to come off, okay? Remember, we're supposed to start from the tail up to the head. So the same thing, same direction. I'm rubbing from the tail to the head direction in the back to make sure that I got all those scales off. Okay? Same thing up here. Okay? Starting from the back, coming all the way to the front. Okay? Don't be afraid to hold the fish. The fish is not going to kill you, okay? Right here, right in the front. And then also, you want to get in between here, okay? The midsection. The midsection right there, you want to scrape, 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 scrape. Okay? And I'm just putting my finger here to make sure that I got all that under there. Okay. Now I'm missing a side. I haven't did this side yet, okay? So back to the same thing that we did in the front. I did this side, okay? I did this side. And you see how it looks? Okay? I have to do this side, okay? So, starting from the back to the head, scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Remember, start from the, I'm going from the top down to the bottom, all the way up. All the way up, scrape, 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 okay, and then down to the bottom. If you scrape and this fin comes off, that is fine too, okay, because eventually when you're, when you're uh, cleaning the fish and getting it ready for cooking, you're not going to want these, you're going to take those off, okay. Okay, you want to scrape all the way up to the head. Okay, and then what I do is I run my finger, you know, around the fish so I can make sure that I got all the scales off, 
Remember, we're trying to we're trying to feel for that soft, uh, smooth area. Okay, if not, there's nothing wrong with going back over it until you get them all off. Another thing you want to do when you do this is sometimes the scales will stay on the fish um, just because um, the scales want to be sticky to the fish after you scraped everything off you want to have a nice bucket of water so that you can rinse the scales that you scraped already off the fish and then you can test it again okay so after you do that actually you see all the scales are right here um, you have a pretty decent clean fish. This one is actually going to go in the water uh, so I can retest, check it again. But that's a part of scaling the fish so that he's nice and smooth and ready to go um, to the next step. All right. That's the finished project, product right there. We still dropping them. We still got the grease popping over there. Gotta float, gotta float. Pops, is, Pops knows how to fry them down. Guys, we got some good eating. Drop it in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Outdoors is on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Please like, follow, and subscribe. To all formats, all at Yes Sir Outdoors.